Hi, I'm Philippe, this is Pedal Platform, and today we're going to be talking about ambient drones with a TC Electronic Plethora X5. In a previous video, link below, some of you noticed that I was playing using ambient drones with the Plethora X5. Today I'm going to show you how to do that. So the way I set up my drones on the Plethora is with a flashback delay on slot number 5. As you can see here, I've already got it set up. I'm going to switch to edit mode so you can see what parameters I will be using. I use medium long delay times. You can't have this too short, otherwise it might be very rhythmical in its repetitions. You can't have it too long either because otherwise your sound on the guitar might die before the delay completes the cycle. So you want to have it in a medium range experiment, see what works for you. Uh, effects level, I'm going to bring it up to minus 4, minus 3 dB, because you, you, you want some level on this. And the trick to setting up the drone is the feedback level. You want to use a delay that will allow you to feedback at precisely 100%. Any less and your notes are going to die off uh, any more and your delay might go into some squeaky feedback which can be amazing, but not in this situation. So I'm going to start with my feedback at 100%, which is where we want it to be. I have a volume pedal on the floor today, so I'm not going to be swelling the notes in with the guitar's volume knob. Uh, and I'm just going to swell a note in to my delay. The delay is on, feedback is 100%. Let's do this. Now if I turn the delay off, I can carry on playing over the delay and the guitar sound is not going to be affecting what's already on there. If I now want to kill the sound, I bring feedback down. Okay, as you could hear, that was very dry sounding, so let's use the other four effect slots of the plethora to help this a bit. On the first slot, I usually place a compressor. This helps with the sustain of the guitar. Um, you can hear I'm using a completely clean sound, I'm not driving the amp whatsoever, so I can use the compressor to boost my guitar a bit. I'm using very middle-of-the-road parameters, again, threshold, really fast attack, and not much output level. I'm not looking to overdrive the preamp, I just want the guitar to sustain a bit more. So this is my clean sound without the compressor. It has some sustain, because this guitar holds its sustain really well, but now let's turn the compressor on. So as you can hear, this helps the guitar sustain its sound for a lot longer and it's going to help build the rest of the tone. So the next effect I'm going to talk about is the reverb. I usually put the reverb on slot number 4, just before the delay that's doing the drone. And for the drone, I use really long decay times, something between 15 and 20 seconds. And I use relatively high effects levels because I want the drone to be a wash in reverb. So let's demonstrate this. This is dry sound. And this is with reverb. On slot number 3, 
I have a tape delay. It's a stereo tape delay, different subdivisions on both channels left and right, and it sounds like this. So, dry sound, affected by reverb and compressor, and if I turn this delay on, it creates more space. I'm going to turn the delay off so it's easier to understand, and this is how it sounds with. Okay, so it's a relatively quick delay, 440 milliseconds on one side, that's quarter note, the other side is going to have a dotted 8, very rhythmical. If I turn the reverb on and then use a swell in with the volume pedal, this is how it sounds. Slot number two is a bit of a wild card for me. It depends on what I need for any specific tone that I have in mind. Um, sometimes I use an octaver. In this case, I don't need it because I'm using an eight string guitar so I can very easily reach a low note. Um, so in this case, what I've done is just put a reverse delay on it, just to add to the quirkiness of the whole sound. So if I turn all of the other ones off, this is how the reverse delay sounds. So let's find out how it sounds when we put it all together. I'm going to flip the plethora into play mode, turn all of the effects on, back to edit mode and on slot number 5, making sure that my parameters are where I need them, feedback at 100, effects level at minus 3, and I'm going to show you how I can create the drum by swelling the note in, then I will Turn off slot number 5, effectively cutting the guitar signal into the drone. The drone will carry on ringing out and I'm going to play over it. So, let's do this. So as you can see, it's really easy to set up um, drone delay on the Plethra X5 or any other delay pedal that has the ability of reaching 100% delay and trails on when the pedal is bypassed. But if you're on stage, you don't want to be bending down to reach your knobs, so you need another way of doing this. And with a Plethra X5 it's really easy because you've got five mash enabled switches. So let's show how that's done. Uh, I've got my iPad connected to the plethora via Bluetooth. I've already loaded the preset that I'm working, the tone print that I'm working with, and I'm going to swipe to the mash settings. So if you remember, to create the drone, we were going for 100% feedback on the plethora X5, and that's the parameter you can see here, delay feedback. That means that when you press, when you mash on the switch, it goes from 50%, which is the default, without any pressure on the switch. It goes to 100% as soon as you mash. You can see the little indicator on the screen showing you where the pressure level is. That will stabilize the feedback at 100%. If I let go, it'll then re return to default. It's a bit laggy on the connection on the display, but the sound is responding in real time. The second parameter that you want to control in this situation, so that you don't have to turn the effect on and off because you can't, you're mashing on it, is the router input level. 
what this does is <coughs> without any pressure on the switch it keeps your input level at 0 dB i.e. your guitar sound is being fed into the delay engine the moment you press the mash switch it goes to minus 100 dB so effectively your guitar sound is not affecting the delay engine what this does is this so as you could hear it while I'm pressing on the switch, my guitar sound isn't affected. The pedal will hold the drone, but what I'm playing on top of that, obviously I'm using my right hand there, so excuse the lack of extra notes, um, but while I'm pressing on the mash switch, my direct sound doesn't go to the delay. So that is one way of doing it. Obviously the problem of using mash is you have to keep the pressure on the pedal for as long as you want to keep your drone alive. Um, if that works for you, it's a really great way of using the possibilities in the plethora. But if you want to be free to simply set it and carry on playing without having to put pressure on the switch, you can use an expression pedal. So I'm going to flip over to the expression pedal mappings on the iPad and as you can see we are controlling basically the same parameters that we were controlling for the mash. I've got my delay feedback that in this situation goes from 20% heel down to 100% toe down and the curve is relatively high because I want my feedback to build very quickly as soon as I start moving my pedal. I'm also controlling the router input level, i.e. turning the direct sound of my guitar into the effects engine. I'm cutting it. In this case, I want to cut it in the last stage of travel of the pedal because I want to build and the, the swell as much as I can. And I'm also controlling the effects level on the output. And I do this because when I'm building my drone, I don't want to listen to my delay with such a low feedback so I want to bring it in as I'm building the drone so this is how it works so as you can see heel down this is the position all of the parameters are off except for input level and as I set my drone I'm going to bring the pedal on and you can hear it And as you can hear, as I bring the pedal down, back, uh, heel down, it kills the drone so I can build up another one on top of this. But that's not all you can do with the expression pedal. Remember that with the Plethra X5, your expression pedal can control all of the slots at the same time. So remember when we were talking about the reverb uh, and the decay being extremely long to create a drone you don't want to play a lead tone with such a big decay because otherwise your guitar gets absolutely drowned in so much reverb so you know where this is going if you set your pedal your expression pedal to control your decay as well as the delay you can set it just this way so 20 second decay time throughout the whole range of the pedal except at the end where it comes to a more acceptable four seconds to play lead on top and you can also use it to bring down your effects level just a bit so as you're creating your drone your guitar is drenched in reverb as you establish the drone it dries a bit so pay attention to the reverb and see what happens when i create my drone
So as you can hear that, my reverb is really big when I'm just setting up the drone, and then it shortens to allow me to play lead. You can do this with all of the effects, for instance, you can map it to boost your compressor to bring your guitar above all of the other instruments, you can do whatever your imagination tells you to do. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you did, please, you know, click like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will try to get to them. And I'll see you on the next video.